Have you ever wondered what would happen if Batman finally let it all go, finally stopped holding back against criminals, finally putting all of his opponents down for good? This is the result of what happens when a bloodlusted Batman has prep time. The Joker went on his greatest killing spree in Gotham, and this was the final straw that pushed Batman over the edge. But this was Batman's greatest mistake. Batman breathes in toxins that were residing in the Joker's heart, allowing the Joker to take control of his mind. And once his mind fell, he killed the entire Bat family and even the entire Justice League with a smile on his face. The Batman who laughs was born. The Batman Who Laughs goal is to take the entire multiverse down into the abyss and drown it. Drown it in hate, drown it in pain, drown it in fear. And all of it will be done by the hands of the Batman Who Laughs. In the battle with the Earth Zero heroes, he reveals he has hidden one Bruce Wayne across the multiverse, telling them he's not the Batman Who Laughs anymore. He's something different, something more, inevitably becoming. The Batman Who Laughs found a Bruce Wayne across the infinite multiverse that created the machine that turned John Osterman into Dr. Manhattan. He found his opportunity to strike and took this body for himself. Now gaining the powers of Dr. Manhattan, being able to see past, present, and future, and all the lies of the other Batman all at once. He realizes something he's never realized before. The identity of Batman has always been a reaction. It's always been an effect of the bullet that was fired in that alley on that one night. This new Batman realizes that he must become something more. He must become more than the bullet that was fired on that night, becoming more than the effect of Batman. He must become the bullet. He wants to become the cause and effect for not only the identity of Batman, but for the entire DC multiverse, becoming the reason that everything lives and everything dies, becoming the reason for miracles and the reason for disasters, being the cause for the entire DC multiverse, enslaving it all. For the multiverse's brightest day, there will always be the darkest night. Powerful enough to take on characters like Superboy Prime who can retcon the entire DC multiverse with a single punch. Scaling above the DC universe which houses places like the God Spear which is stated to be an abstract platonic realm. Scaling above the fifth dimension where beings like Mr. Mixie can view the multiverse as if it's a 2D disc. Scaling above Limbo, Monitor Spear and even the sixth dimension where the most powerful cosmic beings reside. Even scaling above Perpetua who is stated to be the mother of the multiverse, having all the power of every crisis event in history, even the events of Final Crisis, the story of Cosmic Armor Superman. The Darkest Knight was even confident he could kill the Hands. The Hands are so powerful that Perpetua concedes that if the Hands were to enter this reality, she would be erased. But the Darkest Knight is not afraid. Overall, the Darkest Knight would scale seven layers into Outer Versal with a relevant speed. When the Batman who laughs woke up on the operating table after becoming the Darkest Knight, he knows what the Alfreds are going to say before they even say it. They ask him, are you okay? He smiles at them and the first thing he says is, bang. What's up guys, it's Divine. If you guys enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys go hit that like button and subscribe and tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know, who do you think can defeat the Darkest Knight?